It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah, and this is a revisit of Russell's Reserve 13 Year. Okay, Sarah, here's the deal. As you know, we uncorked this on a live episode about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. at the time of this recording. Yes. And uh, let's just say sometimes bottles get to us later, sometimes they get to us earlier. In the case of the Russell's Reserve 13 year, it came to our area a little bit later. Mm -hmm. There was already videos out there, podcasts out there, people raving about this bottle. We had really high expectations going into this. Yeah, kind of like when you go to see a movie and someone's like, it's the best movie I've ever seen. It changed my you life. You walk in with a, a little bit of an expectation, right? Someone told me that with Jerry Maguire. They said, that movie changed my life. And then I went in there and I'm like, it's good. How did this do? Anyway, that's another. <laughs> right, nobody should frame Jerry video. Maguire that way. <laughs> no, I'm like, okay, cool. So we try on the live and we're going to be intercutting some live footage from, or footage from that live, I should say, into this video. But we said, because we were sort of lukewarm about this, yeah. as far as it being a best of the year contender, that type of thing, we're like, it's good, we weren't really seeing it. Right, it's really hard if it's not blowing your hair back immediately to kind of justify it, especially mm -hmm. for what it's going for on secondary, Oof. when you have a delicious Russell's Reserve single barrel that, you know, is more available, or you can save 20 bucks and buy a rare breed. It's like, right. this one really needed to make a strong case for me. Mm -hmm. And I felt like at the time, it wasn't necessarily there. So just a little history on us if you're not a normal viewer. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like to see things like this and flight fights and uncorkings and specials and so forth. Our um, faces. Our faces, yeah. We are big Wild Turkey fans. Big, Wild huge. Turkey is who makes Russell's Reserve. It's kind of known as their top expression, Russell's Reserve. They have great single barrels. Um, yeah, they have a great rye. And yeah, we're just big turkey fans in general. I expected to be head over heels for this. Yeah, we really expected. We're like, oh, I was like, so excited, Sarah. We're gonna, we're gonna, I can't wait. We're gonna yeah. uh, uncork this on live tonight because I just can't wait. I felt that this was gonna be the the Elijah Craig barrel proof to Heaven Hill and, for and, Turkey. And people are calling it, some people are calling it the Elijah Craig barrel proof killer, <gasps> the Stag Junior killer. Well, um, maybe that's what we should do on another round. <laughs> well, there you go. I wanna see that. Another round with Chad and Sarah is a Patreon only uh, episode that we do after our regular episodes. Consider becoming a patron. There maybe. we go. There's that plug. <laughs> there we go. So we wanna revisit this. We've had it sitting here in the glass for about 10 minutes and the bottle has been opened for about two weeks. Also, when we did it on live, we did a Booker's before it. We oh. did. Oh, that's not fair. An orphan barrel as our first pour, something mm. like that. Um, so we're we coming wanted in with fresh palettes. Fresh palettes. So here we go. Revisit. You gave me quite the pour. I will say I really like the nose. It's got nice spice. The and nose is better than what we were picking up online. Yeah, cinnamony, caramel. So this is what we said on the nose on our live episode. We said oak, cherry, vanilla. Uh, you said raisinets. I said. Oh, I still get that. I said milk duds or whoppers. <laughs> Going for that movie theater uh, I can candy. See a whopper. And a touch of peppermint. Yeah, definitely. But I would say the movie theater candy aspect of it is not as pronounced as I thought it was before. And I still can get the oak and the cherry and everything, but it's very balanced. It feels like really nicely woven in there. This time around, I'm also getting a little bit, it's either peanut butter or almond butter, a sort of a silkiness, uh, slight nuttiness in there. Yeah, didn't mm. get that the first time around. Okay, let's That's go nice. in. Woo! Just as just as hot and zesty as I remember it. It's got a kick. It does. I'm gonna need, guess what? Guess what I'm gonna need, A guys. second sip? It's a second sip. Second sip Sarah. That's true. This episode brought to you by Second Sip Sarah. I feel like I should have my own little spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Second Sip Sarah. I'm here to remind you. She's drunk though when she records this. <laughs> Don't forget to take that second sip. You're like Tally <laughs> on South Park. <laughs> Don't forget to take a second sip. It is. Ooh, goes dark though. Goes dark barrel notes. Barrel and a little dry barrel oakiness mm -hmm. on the finish. For sure. Um, nice Kentucky hug though. Yeah. Immediate Kentucky hug. I'm gonna go back. Second sip. What we did say on the palette on the live show was dry. I said that right off the bat. Just like dry, hot, zesty. Um, and you said heavy on the cherry. I don't get the cherry now. It's mostly the barrel influence is what I'm getting. Dan says we don't like our Russell's 13 at all. Since so many people like it, we're starting to wonder if we had a bad bottle. It isn't good. Hmm. 13 years, as we said, uh, we haven't said the uh, the proof out loud yet. The proof is 114.8 proof, 
which is barrel proof. It's also non-chill filtered, which so it keeps those fatty good. acids in there. Mm. All things that we love. We love and appreciate. Mmm, there's like a real dark chocolate, almost sort of like mixed with a, a tea, kind mm. of tea leaf note in there. Um, very warming, a lot better mouthfeel than what we were picking up on the live show. Like I said, I think it starts out pretty viscous and then it, towards like the mid, mid palate experience, right. it, it starts to dry up and go into those more oaky notes. I definitely think I'm appreciating and liking it more this time, but again, I have my, what do you call it? My faculties or whatever. Cause we're not trying to like flip flop on our review exactly. or, or anything, um, but we want to give it a fair revisit. now. Um, you know, other other channels, like I said, have been calling it a best bourbon of the year contender. Rare Bird 101 gave it a 4.75 out of 5. Ooh. And then also, you know, Jimmy Russell, or excuse me, Eddie Russell, said that he, he you know, he's just over the moon at, at the way this came out. And we love Jimmy and Eddie, so we're like... Hey, don't get me wrong. I love the direction of this. Remind me the MSRP. Mm. Uh, it's about $70. $70. Yeah. But... Isn't it true that it's pretty tough to find and it's going for what, like 250 on mine? I'm not saying you should do that. 250 to 400 on the secondary. Yeah, the, the the flippers and all that just really made this hard to get. Sheesh. We have to thank our friends who gave us a heads up about this being available. Thank you. You know who you are. We have kind friends. When you really let the finish settle in and you're getting that date and fig Mm -hmm. uh, ra you know, we said raisin, but I think it's a little bit darker in, in like the syrupy department that makes me think more like, more. you know, uh, plum or date, you know, that, yeah. that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really appreciating that. It's got a really nice long finish. Uh, overall, I would say our experience has gone up yes. from that live stream. Yes, I agree with that. Still, as you said before, I'm very intrigued about trying this side by side with like a Stag Junior and an Elijah, or, yeah, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, just to see, you know, things that hang out in that price range or that availability yeah. area, mm -hmm. how it stacks up. But um, I agree, I'm definitely liking this better than when we had it on the live. Caveat, my palate, when we get a lot of oak influence and there's not um, and that usually comes from the age, right? Correct, right. So anytime we near 15 years and get up into the 16, 17, 18 year old stuff, there is a point of diminishing returns for me to where I feel like if it's too oaky and it's not being balanced by other things that I personally like. For me, this is approaching too much oak. There are definitely pros for this when mm. I'm when ticking the boxes. Like, right, you know, it's got the age, it's got the characteristics that we like at Barrel Proof. Nose-wise, it's amazing. It's got that great mouthfeel at the front. I got I got the cherry again, finally. Mm. Yeah, but it is a real dark chocolate cherry. For me, I think it's just coming down to the finish. Mm -hmm. And that's just not my jam. Sure. You know, what do you think? I think it sort of lacks a brightness. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Like a, like a, a, a citrus or some type of brightness. I feel like it definitely leans more on the heavy side, which yeah. I'm usually really into. But, you know, on live, we compared it to Rare Breed. We compared it to our Russell's pick called Warehouse Delicious. And we liked both of those two things better than this. Yeah. Now, I feel like since our opinion of this has come up, we should grab a glass of Rare Breed and do a little side by side real quick. What do you think, folks? I'm not against it. All right. <laughs> I mean, you didn't ask me, but okay. just in case that counts. Be right back. You know what I was thinking of, Sarah, as I went to get these uh, two bottles? What? Whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for things like our new t-shirts. This one's not new, but, but it's a, it's, a it's a classic. The Glen Karens actually are, are new, these logos. Hats are new and now on the site. Yeah. And now we have four different logo Glen Karens here out for us. They're all available on whiskeyambitions.com. That's right. Yeah, yeah, so go check it out. You should. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join us for as little as one buck a month. If you can believe it, we'll be doing an after the episode, another round as we call it, uh, with Chad and Sarah, where we try even more things up against this. We'll and probably this grab a master's key. Ooh, that'll be fun. <laughs> I definitely want to try that Elijah Craig barrel proof. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, you get access to barrel picks, access to go on barrel picks, and more.
Okay, these are all poured. We're gonna try to keep these Glencairns in front of their respective bottles. Of course, we have to not confuse you. the 13 here on our on our side, on in the wing. In front of us, we each yeah. have one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like we should do this because on the live, we we preferred the Rare Breed at $20 less. Yeah. We preferred the single barrel, which isn't as shocking because there can be some Awesome single barrels. Also, out there. we picked that single barrel, so we're a <laughs> so little biased. So you know, it's gonna be biased. good. Huh. All right. All right. Let's give it a try. Sure. So let's go rare breed. We did that first. We'll go rare breed first. Yeah. Rare breed has the mouthfeel that's going in a similar direction, mm. but I feel like it's definitely got more of that like brightness that you were talking about. Yeah, it's more wild turkey. Definitely less of that oaky, mature like flavor profile. Yeah. And, and by wild turkey, I guess I should say, I mean like wild turkey 101 turned up to barrel proof. Whereas the Russell's 13 is definitely more the Russell's profile with with age. Okay. Oh, you went back to the 13? I did. Okay. Deeper, darker, mm. richer flavors here. Yeah. I wouldn't say the mouthfeel is killing it. It's at first, but then it goes Ooh. into that dryness. I do like this much more viscous. It's a much better mouthfeel. For me, it's become a harder call yeah. between them. And I think I ran into this a bit last time. I was like, if it's a hard call between them, why hunt and pay $20 more when sure. I can get this anytime? Sure. And that was my logic before. Yeah. I mean, not like it's a consolation prize ever, but if you're feeling the FOMO of not being able to find a 13 or not wanting to pay secondary prices, don't worry. Your, cla your, your, your trusty rare breed is out there. Always got your back. Ready to console you and capture your tears in your Glencairn as you lament not having the 13. This time the rare breed is reading thinner to me on I, the finish. I agree. Now, yeah. cold weather? I'm going here. For sure. We are in summer right now, so this I is being brighter and airier. And you know, we should also say, if, if you guys are still with us, and hopefully you are, that- uh, Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> typically, typically, now not always, because we're all different people, but if there's a if there's a real favorite on YouTube, um, most of the higher percentage of the time we're we're on board. Now where we differ is like which Elijah Craig barrel proof of the year is our favorite, which Booker's of the year is our favorite. But mm -hmm. if something's like everyone's like this is a best of the year contender, typically percentage wise we're on board. But that's also the beauty of whiskey, right? Right. It's it's uh, subjective. Subjective. Thank you. I like not always going with the flow. Same here. I feel like, Same well, here. I know that about you. <laughs> he loves to, we'll just be having a regular conversation. He'll be like, well, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm like, I know you don't even feel that way. Quit arguing with me just to argue. It's fun to argue sometimes. No, it's not. <laughs> Warehouse Delicious, we picked this back in 2018. 18. This yeah. bottle has not been open since 2018. We had, no. we stowed away some cases. The palette though, I feel like this is mm. that combination of brightness and darkness and syrupiness and sweetness. Very and well balanced. The oak, but not too much. I mean, it doesn't have quite the kick. Of course, no, it's lower proof. It doesn't have quite the kick. It doesn't make it feel thin at all. Uh, and it's not dry, I'll tell you that. So I'm rethinking all my life's decisions. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I can make a decision between these two. This one for me is hitting the balance better. And again, that's a really tough call to make though, because this is one barrel that has been gone for many years. Yeah. There are other, you know, picks out there, but I can't promise you that it's gonna be the same way. But I do feel like this one does a better job of achieving the balance that I, Sarah, am looking for. Hi, <laughs> Sarah. Again, I'm just saying. No, I'm Spartacus. I'm not making I'm Sarah. a decision and saying this is the way it is and that's right. how you should feel too. We're not Mandalorian in it and right. saying this is the way. This is the way. No. And again, this may be seasonal. No joke, folks. Seasons have an effect on your liking of a whiskey. We should try for the no joke winter list. Yeah, absolutely. But I feel like right now it's like going to be. It's 90 degrees today. I'm feeling what the little uh, the pop of brightness in this uh, single barrel is bringing. But I gotta say, uh, not surprised, not relieved. I'm not any. I'm Switzerland. Now. I'm nothing. I'm Switzerland over this. I nothing you. <laughs> but wow, <laughs> this has the 13 year has improved. A pretty good amount. I would say yes. Since our review two weeks ago. I would like to put this in our best of contention. Best of the year blind contention. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying. Because I would like to personally see where it stacks up against other things. Yeah. Based on how much it's risen in this episode, I feel like 
it deserves even more consideration. I'll say this, I don't think it's because it's been opened for two weeks. No, I think it's 100% because of the circumstances of our original uncorking. Yeah, I guess I am glad I'm not gonna fight you on it. If no. you're like, this is the best thing I've tried all year, I'm not gonna argue with you. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, that. no it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you have a terrible palate. Like, I don't, I think it is definitely up some people's alleys. And I can see where they're getting yes. it. If you can find this for the retail price get it. of $70, I, yeah, it, get, get it. it. So there we go, I'm glad we did this. Me too. It, it has risen, it risen in our book. I think it's worthy to put in our blind best of contention for the year, because we really want to see. I want to see where it shakes where, out. Where it shakes out. That's, I guess, where we will leave it. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Till next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>